Hey, this is Zach Log the Great. This is not the kind of thing I usually talk about it, but it seems important, so here goes. Unfortunately, because our culture has gone insane and attacked the cornerstone of, society, of our society, the family, this problem is becoming more and more common. I've seen quite a few people who are divorced or were never married but had children and then separated from the other parent attacking their ex in public. Stop it, you morons! If you love your children, if you care about their emotional well-being in the slightest, just stop it. It's venomous, self-serving, and disgusting. Now, I'm sure some of you are confused. What does this have to do with my children? What are you talking about? I'm not hurting them. I'm not saying a word about them. I can't believe I have to explain this, but the evidence is clear that some people are so self-centered and solipsistic that they genuinely have not seen the problem here. Where did your children come from? From you and your mate. If you've since split up, they come from you and your ex. Your children are half you and half the other parent. If you think about this for more than two seconds, you know this is true. Biologically, this is absolutely true. Psychologically and spiritually, this is true. If your ex was a part of raising them, more so, but even if not, that part is still there. Your children are half you and half your ex. You know this, and guess what? At some level, so do they. Even young children have some idea of this. So, if half your son it comes from your ex, and he knows this, you know what happens when he hears you talking about how your ex is a complete piece of trash? He hears you telling him that half of him is complete trash. He hears you who should be the foundation of his emotional well-being, telling him that half of him is completely worthless. And if both parents do this, he hears that all of him is complete trash. You think this doesn't matter? You think this doesn't eviscerate your children emotionally? Are you out of your mind? No. Maybe your ex was genuinely bad to you. Maybe they acted irresponsibly, or cruelly, or selfishly, although it's just possible that you are at least as much to blame. Maybe you need to talk through some of these things. Fine. Have private conversations with friends without your kids around. Talk to a therapist or a pastor. But if you love your children and if you want the best for them, do not badmouth your ex, where they will hear you. 
because frankly, that is so selfish and disgusting. I, I simply can't find the words. And if after having this explained, you continue to do so, well, I hope it gnaws at your conscience. I hope it burns a hole in your brain to know that you are burning your children alive on the altar of your narcissism. You owe them better.